my dad wants to encourage me to go to a course he bought for me for about a thousand dollars and he tells me this story he tells me how he read books for his entire life he has an entire shelf book with hundreds of books i'd say hundreds he read hundreds if not close to a thousand books in his lifetime and he says that it's been a waste of time that it's been a waste of like how how reading books could be a waste of time well it is because he remembers almost nothing out of them because he never practiced the skill of remembering and this is what the course was for so pretty much the answer to the video, to this video is the most important skill ever is not even remembering but learning in general meta learning just understanding how to learn with maximum productivity so that you can understand the most implement the most and just remember for your whole lifetime the most that's why i a month ago i months ago created a video called the full protocol to learning it obviously got only 50 views so i will be remaking it in the future right now i'm just gonna rant a bit about it how much can learning give you because think about it this way if you can learn in all areas in life then on in all areas in life you can become a master of it you can become a master of relationships one-on-one -on -one and at the same time become a, a master entrepreneur and at the same time become a training master and at the same time become a health dietitian because you, if you can learn so that you can remember so that you can understand with not many time with just not much time invested into that then bro there is uh, one, two things i want to discuss right now one thing is a uh, minimal effective dose it is about 40 minutes a day so how many skills can you maintain a day? Like if you have two hours, you can maintain, you can be a master at four fucking skills, bro. Four skills. Four skills. It's hard. It's not really rare for a person to be a master at one skill. What about four? What about 10? If you can spend five hours a day, then 10, it is achievable. So minimal effective dose and also flashcards. I see flashcards, maybe this isn't my per. maybe it isn't my ideal way of learning, maybe it isn't pretty much anybody else's like ideal way of learning, but this isn't about flashcards here. It is about the program. It is about the program Anki. This program segregates our flashcards. So basically our notes, we can just call it our notes because we don't need to make flashcards out of them. We can just call it our notes and make ourselves read the notes each and every time they pop up. Because the thing is that you click for how well did you remember that thing? How well could you recall it in the future? And then based on that, the program automatically makes you like, re remind you of that again in the future. Because we know what is the problem. Why do people forget things? The problem is because they don't like re re revisit the material that they went through. Because it would be too much like go to a course and then go to another course, but start revisiting that course again. No time, yeah. But if you add it to Anki, then only the things that like, weren't understood by you really well, only those will be there for a few weeks and then you will finally start to understand it. Then you will finally start to get them and then they will just disappear, but you will remember them and they will. After, every, after a few months, they will appear again. And now you will remember them as well, but it will be a like, you will revisit the material once again. And then after a one and a half years, for example, it will pop up again. And I've been doing that for seven months already. And I know uh, the, the amount of knowledge I've already gathered in this six months, bro, six months. For example, I can tell you right now, out of my head that 38% of the US for workforce is self-employed they are freelancers that's one of the interesting facts that i remember or for example the banach tarski paradox is a paradox in where there is a ball a 3d object with an infinite amount or infinite amount of points and in a specific mathematical if in a specific mathematical context we could reassemble all those points into another object 
with the same value as the previous one. This is the Balaktarsky paradox. Who the fuck remembers this type of shit? Well, I do, because it is easy, because all you need to do that with this process of learning, with like, when you know how to learn, all you need is just one fucking video for 20 minutes, then for five minutes, write down some fucking notes and add it to Anki in a specific way that I will discuss probably in a few weeks, in a few days. So you can just go watch the full guide to learning that is already posted on my channel. Yeah. But obviously the knowledge about how to learn isn't enough. You also need to know what to learn. You also need to like, have materials for learning. And this is what the first thing in the description is for. It is a six week course or just, it is a six week worth of material of things to learn, things to learn. A lot of different things like how to exercise, how to get better at relationships, what's the perfect morning routine, you can get all that and then make notes out of it and then you can remember them for life. With the full protocol to learning. Pick the first thing in the description right now, hope this helps.